So would you like to know how to add 93 extra high quality new patients nearly free in the next 12 months? Stay tuned because that's exactly what we're going to be talking about right now in this live broadcast from PPO Exit here on Planet Gems. So I dubbed, I, I dubbed, I dubbed this particular project the Brazilian project originally. So when I first crafted the idea of doing this in my practice, I called it the Brazilian project. And, and it wasn't really limited to Brazilian patients, but that's that was my initial target. It can actually be used for any patients you want within your local community. And we'll be walking through exactly step by step how to do that today. Uh, Terry Cribbs, good to have you with us. Terry, where are you coming in from? Not that I don't know that, but I'd love to have you tell our audience, where are you located? Go ahead and type that in. All right. Um, while, Ter while Terry's finding, oh, there she is, Knoxville. Awesome. Good to have you with us, Terry. Um, so the Brazilian project, even though it wasn't limited to Brazilians, I started it with, uh, I, why did I start targeting the Brazilian population? Well, because in my first office, in the Framingham office, we had pretty high um, number of Brazilian immigrants who had just moved to the United States. And um, what, what I was finding was many of them would work two full-time jobs. They were really hard workers. Uh, they appreciated health care. So even though they might not have insurance, they appreciated they would put the money into their health and, and they became great patients. And we love them. We, we love building those relationships. Now, was that a huge percentage of my practice? No, it might have been 8 or 9% of my practice, even though I built it up you know, significantly. It was still a small percentage of the practice, but it was one of my favorites. All right, so how did we reach out? Well, this particular reach out project that we're talking about today would work if you wanted to target basically any local professionals, any local business owners, uh, the team members at those, at those places, and I'm going to show you as, as well how that turns into referrals to your office from the team members of some really cool high-end spas and physicians and plastic surgeons and so forth. So it really could be, um, again, plastic surgery offices, high-end day spas, um, the owners of the high-end day spas. Um, right, if you're jotting any of this down, write down fitness centers, health clubs, high-end beauty salons especially, opticians, ophthalmologists, nutrition, health boutiques. There's really no limit. Um, again, we started with Brazilians, but we branched out to really some cool places, and uh, it worked out quite well. So here's a question to ask yourselves, and uh, maybe you could even type it into the chat if you like. Which of the three types of patients, and this, this should be pretty obvious, but I want you to think about it, and I'll explain why in a minute. Which of the three types of categories of new patients is more likely to accept treatment? As a broad generalization, which of the three categories of so, which which of these three categories is, of new patients is more likely to accept treatment? So the first would be, your new patient came from an advertisement. Maybe it was a Facebook ad. Maybe it was a um, newspaper ad. Could have been something on the radio, TV, a sign, billboard, whatever. So that's the first level. Second type would be those who drove by and saw your office. So they they saw a pretty office. They saw. Uh, cars parked outside the dental office and they decided that must be, it's a busy place, must be a good one. And they came in based, based on your sign and your location and your office. The third one is patient referrals. Your existing patients with whom you have an amazing relationship referred their friends, their relatives, their coworkers, their neighbors. So again, it should be kind of a rhetorical question, but type it into the chat anyway. Which of those three is more likely to result in, which type of the patient uh, is, is most likely to result in a higher level of case acceptance. All right, while, the, while you guys are typing, I'm just going to give it away because we've got so much to cover today. Um, but I know you know the answer, and of course, it's the referred patients. So the strategy we're going to cover today is a new category. It's neither um, you know, an advertisement, really, it's not. Uh, it's not somebody driving by or walking by and seeing your office or your sign, and it's not really a referral but it's as close to a referral as you can possibly get without being a referral. So it is the second highest and very close to the referral level because prior to you ever seeing them in the practice, you're going to go out and reach and touch them 
and you're going to build relationship. So there's going to be an existing relationship before they come in to see you. And there's nothing that can beat that. That's why they make mute buttons. All right. So the, the, this particular strategy, by the way, is super low cost. It's not 100% free, but it's low cost. <clears throat> you totally control the budget. You will totally control the budget. Um, it's a few dollars. Uh, mostly, it just takes a little bit of staff time. I will tell you that it is a lot of fun for the staff to do. Your team members will love doing this. Uh, it only takes one or two team members. So we always used to have, in my, my, in my Framingham office, we used to have team members literally fighting each month over who got to do it. Because we only do it a couple times a month, and it's only for a day here or there. So it doesn't take that much time and not that many team members. Um, and they literally, oh, I want to do it this way. Okay, I want to do it. You and I will go together. We'll do it. Um, they loved doing it. It was a lot of fun because they got to get out, get out of the office. They're still being paid. You could even set up, which we did, a little bit of a bonus system. So as patients started coming back in, in addition to the pay they were getting, they're also getting a little bit of bonus money there as well. Uh, that's an optional thing, but it'd be a nice thing to do. So how does it work? In other words, what are the results? Well, I told you about my practice, which was we, we would actually get over 100 new, new patients a year from this, at least a couple a week. But let me tell you about Chris. Chris was one of my Freedom Summit coaching members in North Carolina. And in the first month that they did this, so they brought in 28 new patients. So, so they got a really amazing result right out of the gate. And um, of course, not every new patient stays and does all the dentistry, but out of 28 new patients, they got a lot of them who did do a lot of dentistry. Now, 11 of those, 11 of the 28, you say, why did they get 28 in, in the first, when they first started this? 11 of those were team members at a local plastic surgeon's office that they visited and, and did this outreach, this kind of project on. Um, so 11 came from a plastic surgery office. That was pretty cool, but even cooler than that, two weeks later, they got a referral by one of the team members at the plastic surgery office of one of the plastic surgeon's patients. Now, the plastic surgeon didn't make the referral. He or she didn't know anything about it. One of the patients at the office was out in the, you know, the reception area just chatting with one of their team members and was saying, you know, this is looking great and this looks great and this is all wonderful, but I got to get my teeth done. Do you know anybody? And she said, yeah, Chris and, and so forth. And uh, it ended up being over 12000 I forget the exact number, I think it was 12700 and something, but it was, it was way over $12,000 prepaid case the day of the first initial consult. A again, the level of patients that come in from this type of a almost referral, in that case it actually was a referral, and it was a, it was a secondary referral from a team member of somebody that they had gone out and done this project and, and built a relationship with. All right. So if you have a pen, and I hope you do, or a computer with a keyboard, um, grab it because we're going to dive right in and, and here are the details. First of all, I want you to create a Google Sheet. You're going to create a Google Sheet, a list of 25, minimum 25 local businesses that you're going to target in the next 30 days. Write that down. 25 local businesses that you're going to target in the next 30 days. All right, so you've got your Google Sheet and you want to stay fairly close. Unless you're in a very rural area, if you're suburban or urban, it wants to stay close. Now, close in suburban might be, you know, within a mile. Close in, you know, Manhattan would be within two blocks. So, again, you have to determine what is pretty close, but you want to make it so that it's a no-brainer for these business owners and these business team members and referrals that they give you to pop in over to your practice. All right, so there's your list. Uh, you'll expand on that list each month, but that's just your initial list. Each and every month, reach out to at least 20 of these local businesses. You want to reach out, and you want to, when I say reach out, you're actually going to go visit, not you, but your team members. One or two of them will go out, and they're going to drop off some goodies. You always got to go with something in hand. Now, what works best? Edibles. The key to opening up a conversation is edibles, especially chocolate chip cookies, Dove chocolates. Those were the, those were our two favorites that we did. When I say our favorites, it was because they worked. They just work. They work really, really well. So um, now, when we very, very first started the Brazilian project, and I was just kind of putting it together, hobbling it together as an idea, 
I went to BJ's Wholesale Club and I spoke with the bakery department manager there and I said, could you put together some gift baskets, you know, a, a nice wicker basket with chocolate chip cookies and maybe a little bit of fruit and some um, tissue papers and cellophane, colored cellophane and ribbons and all this. And um, we did that as the beginning of the project. Now, I'm not saying don't do that. It's an okay way to do it. And they looked amazing. And they were great, but it's more expensive than what we eventually started doing because my team members said, we don't need to be paying that money. We can just go buy, you know, wholesale and you can buy a hundred wicker baskets wholesale out of these China. Pl it's unbelievable how much you can get them for. It's like under a buck a piece, 50 cent, whatever. Nice wicker baskets. You can get some of the cellophane wraps and the, the, the ribbon and stuff. My team members used to love getting paid working in the office when there was no patient. They'd be building these baskets. So what's a good downtime thing? Building these baskets so you don't have to pay for them. Uh, and then they would go to BJ's and pick up just the chocolate chip cookies, or we would order Dove chocolates. Uh, sometimes we would do them with mugs. So we, I, I'm, anybody who's been with me for long enough knows that I'm a, a big purveyor of mugs. We actually print them uh, custom for each of our uh, coaching members, for Freedom Summit members. We make um, individual mugs for their patients. And it's an, it's an office mug. Anyway, the point is, if you have a nice mug with your office logo and name on it and your phone number and URL, and I'd also put a QR code on there so they can get right into you. By the way, if I were putting a QR code on the mug, would it go to my regular website? No way. What would it go to? Think about it. It would go to a special offer. It wouldn't go to my regular website. It would go to a special offer that says, get X, Y, and Z. Maybe it's you know free whitening or whatever it happens to be, value X. You know How much is that normally? Is it several hundred, whatever that number is. Um, so that'd be my QR code on there. It'd be to a special offer. All right. So now you have an idea of what we're doing and where we're bringing it. And we're walking in with always in hand. You always want to have that, you know, showing in your hand. Um, I'll tell you that one of the things you want to do is your team members, when they're walking into a local business, um, with these these goodies they want to walk in in scrubs clean scrubs but they want to walk in in scrubs with a mask around their you know around their neck or on their face but probably on their neck um and with the chocolates in the in the now if you're going to do dub chocolates which is a, a really great way to go and very inexpensive dub chocolates in in a nice mug with your logo and name on it and your your, your information your contact information Make sure that you then put lots of pretty ribbons and then you, you, you take a pair of scissors and you curl the ribbons. And again, my staff had a great time doing this. I did some of this in the early days, but my staff did it mostly. Um, it's just a lot of fun to do. So if you deploy this strategy right, you can easily put at least two. When I say at least two, many offices do way more than that. Um, but you can easily put at least two new patients into your schedule every week from this. That's an extra 100, 100 patients a year. Now... What we didn't talk about was, it's not about the business owner. Would I like to make a relationship with the plastic surgeon, with the ophthalmologist, with the high-end spa owner, with the, uh, the health club owner? Yeah, yeah, I absolutely would. But in all of those businesses, there are gatekeepers. So if you're writing any notes at all, write this down. It's all about the gatekeeper. It's not about trying to get to the owner. You'll get there eventually, but initially it's about the gatekeeper. So that's the person who you want to build a relationship with. That's the person who your team member wants to really get to know. And um, as I said earlier, you know, Chris found that the, the, the gatekeepers, the team members, were the ones who were referring amazing patients. And that wasn't just a one-off. That was just the first pa patient referred during the first month, in addition to team members who came in from various places that they visited. Um, so again, wear a uniform, your office uniform with the office name. Now, what would you say? Well... It's a super simple script, but it's important. Grab your pen. It's a super simple script, but it's important. Hi, I'm Betty, and uh, this is Sandy. Let's see you come in with two team members. You could go one. You don't really need two people, but you, some, some team members like to travel in tandem. Um, so, hi, I'm Betty, and, and this is uh, Sandy, and we're from Dr. Tom Orant Center for Cosmetic Dentistry. We're just down the street. In fact, we're your business neighbor, and I said to Dr. Orant the other day, we never get to meet our other business neighbors, and he says, why don't you go say hi and bring them something sweet? That was how this developed. It, how long do you think it would take to learn that script? It's super quick. It's super simple. We're your business neighbors. We never, I told my doc, I said, we never get to get out and meet our business neighbors. And he said, or she said, go do it and bring him something fun. Bring him something sweet. And he, I hope you guys love Dove chocolates and you hand him the chocolates. Do you think that that's going to start a conversation in a relationship? 100% of the time. 
I, I will guarantee you will build build relationships. Now they're all going to come. No, they're not all going to come in as patients. If you go to twenty a month, so if you do this twice a month, you go into ten in a day, which by the way will take you an hour or two. I mean, very very little time and very little effort. You're going to see this just. It, it's oh, one of the things sometimes they like to say is um, they'd go out you know, on a Monday or a Tuesday and they'd say. Oh, it's not even hump day, you know, Wednesday. It's not even hump day yet. I thought, I thought you guys might enjoy something, a, a quick pick-me-up or a treat. So that was another thing that my team members used to say. You give them the, either the gift basket or the, um, the, the mug with the, the Dove chocolates and the beautiful ribbons and things. And um, now we ask an important question. And by the way, you don't want to write this down in front of them, the, the answer to the question, but you want to keep it in mind. They're going to give you a number. You want to keep the, mind, the number in mind, and then when you go out to your car, you, you do want to jot it down, and then when you get back to the office, put it in the spreadsheet. What do you think that number is? You want to know how many people work here. Um, and by the way, you don't just say, you know, how many people work here? You just say, I don't know if I brought in enough. H how, how many of you guys work here? How many On an average day, how many people are working here? Because I can go grab some more. Oh, we have, you know, 20 team members. Great. And so you go out to your car and you grab a little bit more. Or they know this is plenty. But whatever the number is, you want to know that number because in the future, if this becomes one of your favorite offices, because some people do start coming in, and you want to have that number because maybe once or twice a year, you're going to do something a little bit extra special for them. Maybe it's mugs for everybody there. Maybe it's a, a really, really big gift basket that you, you build for enough people who are in that uh, particular office or business. So you want to know how many are working there. And you tell them why. You don't just... And then the other reason I would do that, this is even more important than knowing for, for the goodies. The other reason, uh, uh, so, so Susie, the other reason I wanted to know how many you got is not just for the goodies, because we'll get you enough goodies, but, and then you reach into your, your bag or, or whatever you're carrying. Um, I want to make sure we've got enough of these free uh, whitening certificates for your whole team and for the owners. So you say, okay, there's 11. So you pull out 11 or 12 of the whitening certificates. Now, on the whitening certificate is, you know, a beautiful picture of somebody, you know, with a gorgeous smile and, and your logo and your name and all that. But there's also the special offer. Free whitening, usually X value, uh, expiration date, and then there's a blank. Expiration date, and then there's a blank. And you're going to take, see if I, I love using props. So you're going to take a, this is kind of too big, it would be too thick. Uh, there's a smaller one. So you're going to take a red Sharpie. That's probably orange. But anyway, you're going to take a Sharpie, and you're going to write on what the expiration date is on these certificates. So when you hand them to them, there's a motivation. Write this down. Motivation to act now. There's got to be a motivation for them to act right away. All right. So you're going to find that a lot of patients are going to start coming in for the free whitening. Some of them are going to come out only for the free whitening, and they already have a dentist, or they don't want to see a dentist or whatever, but they're coming in for the free. And that's fine. You're going to get that. You're also going to get people who are going to love your practice. They're going to stay. Uh, you're, going to, you're not going to just do whitening without doing a, a, a periodontal exam and oral cancer screening. And you don't charge for that, but you're going to, you're going to make sure that they are healthy enough that you, you'd want to do whitening on them um, and so forth. So whatever you would normally do for a new patient, maybe short of an FMX. Um, but now, six or eight months in, I want you to choose the top two or three businesses because this is, this is the most powerful part of this whole project. Six or eight months in, choose two or three of the most powerful relationships who've sent you the most team members, owners, referrals, whatever, and reach out to the owners and say, this has been amazing. We love seeing you guys as patients. You've been referring. This is a wonderful relationship. We want to give back. We want to give back to you guys. So it's always Cialdini's theory of reciprocity basically says when you do something for somebody, they want to do something back for you. When you do something for somebody, they want to do something back for you. That's Robert Cialdini. He's a professor emeritus of psychology at Arizona State University. You'll hear much more about him as we continue to talk here in uh, PPO Exit. So... What do you want to give back to them? Well, what we want to do for you is we want to send you business. We want, now, let's say it's a spa. We want to send you guys you know, spa uh, customers, or, or maybe it's an ophthalmologist or a plastic surgeon, whatever. So what I'd be happy to do, and, and we can kind of do this for each other. You, you make it clear that this is a two-way street. Um, what we'll do, what I'd be happy to do would be we have... 2,500 you know, active patients, you know, whatever your number is. So we have you know, 2,500 active patients. I'd be happy to send a letter on my letterhead, my, you know, my letterhead, not an email, but a letter to, their to the homes of all 2,500 of our patients 
and um, just introduce you to them and say that, you know, you and, and, and your, some of your team have been coming to see us, and now some of our team members have been using your services. By the way, it's got to be true. In other words, you have to have already had your team members use some of their services, or you personally, if you like to, uh, so that you can speak highly of them and, and from the heart. Uh, and you do a cross, you do a cross mailing. It's, it's what's called the JV in the direct marketing world. It's called the JV or joint venture. The most powerful way to have a big jump. This is way beyond a couple of weeks because if you do that letter, you mail one on behalf of that particular business. And then let's say you do that for three different businesses and three different businesses do that for you. You're going to see a huge influx of new patients in the next 30 days. And of course, there should be a special offer in the letter that you write. There should also be a, um, in fact, you should include that, not just the cover letter by you, but then include a special offer uh, certificate with a deadline and a date. So hopefully you can see how, even at the simplest level, if you just came in with the candies, the chocolate, the, the Dove chocolates in the mug, you can see how this guerrilla marketing strategy can help you to build a really high quality additional you, you can build a really high quality additional new patient flow. And, and that's just one step towards improving new patient flow, um, quality new patients. Re once you're in a more higher new patient flow, better recall retention, higher patient acceptance, higher revenue, higher net, you'll be in a position where you're much more comfortable that you can safely begin to reduce dependence on PPOs. And Literally, that's what we help general dentists to do is to reduce loss from PPOs. We help you to increase revenue, more importantly, profit. It's, it's exactly what we do. So we help you to rapidly increase revenue and so that you can establish that position of financial strength in which you can begin to withdraw one or more. Um, Dr. Cribb says, this is like drinking from a fire hose. Will there be a replay? Uh, yeah, in fact, if you, um, if you type the word replay below, uh, my team will send a link as soon as it's ready. It should be ready in a couple hours. So um, it's probably a good idea to have your whole team watch this, Terry. Terry, I, I probably should have thought of saying that earlier, but um, yeah, we'd be happy to do that. So Terry, just type replay. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely how you can get a replay of, the, of that. So, um, and Cami, Dr. Housh, uh, happy to get your replay as well. So whether you you know, want to get out of just one PPO and there's one that you really hate and you just wish you could get out of it, but be in a safer position to do so. Or maybe you want to get out of all your PPOs and go 100% fee for service as I did and, and as many of our members do. Uh, now, whether you're watching this live or you're watching the video replay later, if you type liberation, type the word liberation into the comments below, my team will reach out to you and, and it'll be just a short, maybe a five, 10 minute call at most, just to see if we might be able to help you. Thank you so much for being part of our PPO exit movement. Have an amazing weekend. And remember, you are only one gem away. Take care guys and enjoy the weekend.